All right, guys, so we are at 2 a thrift store. This is in, what town is this? I forgot. North, right. North Wales. North Wales, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what the front of the store looks like. Nice big store. Two way through superstore. We love a good superstore. Last time we were here, they were just putting in registers for self checkout, which I thought was very curious. Wonder how that's working out for them. All right, let's go inside. Let's see what we can find. Okay, lots of Christmas stuff. Look at hard goods. Yay. <laughs> We're gonna grab a cart. Hopefully we get a good one. All right, first one's a charm. Oh, I do like those swans. Look at those sparkly swans. I wonder if I can get in there and see how much they want for them. Uh, lighter than I thought, $6.99. Okay, they're kind of pretty, but, oh, they're light up. I was kind of wishing they were planters. All right, I'm gonna have to give that thought. What else do we see? I thought this was a snow baby, but it's not. What is this? It says something under that sticker. Super cute. Here is a Santa head. Oh, he's a salt or pepper shaker. Where's your twin? I'm not seeing the twin. Okay, maybe, maybe the twin broke. This Lennox. Yes, it is, with a poinsettia. Holly, Holly. Holly pattern, what do they want for this? Ooh, $10. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I've seen this pattern before, just a plastic tray. I do like this. Okay, this is Smart Living. And is Smart Living Kmart? I can't remember who sells this. That is a really cute pattern. Hmm, do I want that for my house? I'm thinking I do. I'm gonna to try to see this sticker better. Distributed, I can't read that. Food, I'm not seeing that. Hmm, I'd have to use a magnifying glass to see that. I'm gonna put that in the cart. For some reason, I'm kind of liking that. Just for myself, not for resale. Noticing this little holly dish, $2.99. That is really sweet. Porcelain Japan. I do like that. $3, what could I get for that? Maybe 10 to 12? And we're gonna go ahead and put that in the cart. I'm really liking the Christmas stuff. Okay, we're gonna take a quick look at artwork. That is very interesting. Looks to be an Amish barn. A city picture. Oh, I got some new bedroom furniture and I am looking for a mirror for myself. That one's not quite large enough, but if that was bigger, I would grab that $3. Is this real wood? No, it seems to be either particle board. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, looks like the person who painted that one might have also painted this. Definitely a student piece. What else are we seeing? Thankful, grateful, and blessed. This would be nice on a Thanksgiving table, like if you have a buffet or a drinks table set up. Quilt to paper. Okay, it was originally $12.99 in Steinmart, and now it is $2.99. Hmm, I kind of like that for some reason. I think I'm just in a buying mood. <laughs> Watch out. Okay, chicken. <laughs> Chickens. What is this? Oh, that's very interesting. It almost feels like a box. Huh. Collage.com. Is that an online service? Somebody's chicken got turned into artwork? Here are some placemats. I've sold Courier and Ives placemats like this. There is the sticker back there. Pimpernel. I hear carts coming out. Okay, another placemat set, $2.99. Oh, these are especially cute. Who are these? Judy, what does that say? Rousseau? Oh, those are adorable. Okay, 1989 to 1999, Alex Fine Art. Oh, these are adorable, 399. What kind of little animal is that? I think I'm going to take these. 
So cute for a baby's room. Not too bad to ship. I don't see anything wrong with them. All right, we're putting these right in the cart. Oh dear, I found a third one. <laughs> it's a whole collection of them. Oh, these are so cute. I'm gonna have to comp them. But um, when you see fine art custom framing for little prints, that's the first sign and it's matted. See this beige colored um, cut out square? That is called matting. And matting can add to the value of a piece. So we're gonna put that right in the cart too. Okay, I'm not sure what color this aisle is or if they even do this by colors. What is this? A chihuahua clock. Oh my goodness. This is so bad, it's almost good. <laughs> Whoever carved that chihuahua did an amazing job. $9.99, it is a clock. Oh, I really don't want to ship something so heavy. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, I don't know what that's saying. Oh dear, do I want a chihuahua clock? Stuff like this is so hard to run comps on. Mm, I think I'm going to leave this one because I would need a buyer who wants a clock who has a chihuahua. But this talent is really amazing. All right, that might be a mistake. I'm going to leave that one behind. Oh, this little teapot is a piece of pottery. Let's see if it is signed on the bottom. Mm, somebody put little felt pads on the bottom. Might have had a sticker. I don't think so, though. Mm, I wish it was marked. Very well done. I like the balance of it. I don't feel any chips or cracks. Up oh, there is one there. Nope, that's in the glaze. I would rather have it be signed, but I almost like this piece. Good weight to it. This little glitter dish, not especially old. Kind of a pretty color though, like real rose gold. That would be pretty on a on a table. Hmm. So much to think about. Oh, this plate is looking interesting. Oh, let it be signed. Let it be signed. It's not signed. It has a little bit of initials there. I don't know who that mark is. That looks to be a mark. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this. This is redware. Okay, the treasure is here today. What is this? $2.49. I guess it's a hot plate, maybe? Okay, these jeweled bubble things are glass. That is very interesting. For some reason, I have never found this. I know nothing about it, and I'm putting it in my cart. I wish I knew more about this piece. Definitely vintage. I'm going to guess 60s or 70s. I really like the color on this. Okay, guys, we are just filling our cart today. Yay! Okay, bottom shelf. Finding this gorgeous piece, hand-painted. And there is the mark again. And what do they want for this? Let's see if we can turn this sticker. $3.49. Just beautiful. I love pieces like this. This is like shooting fish in a barrel. We're having that kind of day today. We could use that kind of day. All right, I think that's it for this shelf. Oh, one more thing let's take a look at. A glass dolphin. Huh, $2.49. I don't know that he's especially anybody, so I'm gonna leave him on the, on the shelf for somebody else. Okay, this quail bird is reminding me of the Tanala bird I just picked up, but I don't think this is Tanala. I could be wrong about that, $6.49. And the bottom, this um, ceramic looks to be quite contemporary. Very white and new looking. I'm gonna put that one back. Oh, the raccoon is adorable and so is this puppy. Oh, he is so sweet. What kind of dog is this, guys? Is this a Shih Tzu? I love that little painted face. I don't see any marks. 249, he is too sweet to put back. I'm gonna grab him too. Look at that face. I have not even moved two feet. It's like they're just bringing it all to me today. Three pegs, oh, 949. Okay, more contemporary piece, not especially old. I am liking this, but I don't know by the time the buyer pays for shipping if this is gonna be worth it. 
So I'm going to put this one back sadly because I do love a good pig. Pigs are one of my favorite animals in figurines and statues. I don't think I'd want a pig pet, but that is super sweet. Somebody's going to grab that. Look at all this treasure. Oh, this must have come off of a teapot, I bet you. Little cat face missing its, its body. Oh, that would have been super sweet. I also like this little orange bird. Okay, I don't know. Whoop, he has a friend. I don't know that those are especially anything, but <laughs> we're gonna put them together so they can hang out together on the shelf. What else do we see? There's precious moments. I generally don't pick up precious moments. Someday that's gonna be a mistake. Is this Holly Hobby or Precious Moments? I think it's Precious Moments. I know Holly Hobby always had a lot of patchwork uh, printed on it. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. I feel like I'm missing stuff because there is so much to see. But we're going to keep going and go on to the next aisle because it's calling up. Oh, stop. Hold the phone. Who is this? scary doll that's almost good though the expression in the eyes are good open mouth teeth all of that is extra work there is a number on the back of the head i'm gonna see if this is saying who the maker is okay i think i see a signature and i will yolanda somebody dolls that could be wrong okay i'm gonna put her back All right, let's get to the next aisle. Oh, <laughs> hold the phone again. Hmm, nope, the painting is not great. See how the color on the seat of the pants is leaking over? It's almost like they didn't color in the lines. Not a good sign. Okay, wooden shoes. These are definitely made in Holland, hand-painted. I don't know what these would be bringing. Two-way wants $15 for them. Oh, it says something on the bottom. Let's turn it over. Yeah, made in Holland. Hmm, they look to be vintage. I'm going to put them in my cart. I probably won't get them, but these would make a phenomenal planter for air plants. Really cute. I bet you they're plentiful and don't bring a high profit, but I'm going to put them in my cart. This will be one of the things that I run comps on. Okay, let's see what we can fit them. It's starting to look good. It's a good day. So it seems that 2A is definitely sorting by type of item, which is fun, different than color, but the wood does wind up looking like a brown aisle. And I'm not seeing anything especially great on this aisle, not so far. Is this a birdhouse up here? Let it be a birdhouse. Nope, I don't think so. Probably just a luminary cover. Is that what we call it? Little candle underneath it would make the church glow. And I think that finishes it up. Hold the phone. <laughs> Hold the phone, number two. Oh, what is this? Number 56899. Okay, is there any damage to this? Definitely Asian, like a mythical fire dragon horse. Okay, I really like this. And what did they want for this? $8.99. Probably just the souvenir trade, but I feel encouraged about this one. So we are on serviceware. Lots of dishes, ceramics, things like that. Who's making this little orange? Food safe. Not especially crazy about that, but it did catch my attention. What else? Seems to be a little dish made in Japan, otogiri, textured. Okay, I do like that. I just wish that the background color was like a blue instead of the brown. I'm probably gonna leave that behind. Brown in dishes is not an especially fast seller for me. Oh, what is this guy here? Oh, do we love him? Oh my gosh, yes we do. Yes, we do. It's home goods. What? $6.99. That just killed it for me. <laughs> I was so excited for this one. Oh, home goods. You tricked me. But I still like this. Hmm. Hmm. Do I get it or no? Not sure. 
Okay, even though I like this very much, that home goods sticker is definitely a no-go for me. I try to stay true to buying vintage, not just vintage look. Now, sometimes I could be making a mistake, but with that one, since it's so evident with the sticker, I will put that one back. What is this? Okay, this looks new again. We're gonna see who's making this one. Celebrating home. Huh, I don't know that label. Okay, it is definitely soup season. I would love to picture like a chili or a chowder. Oh, chowder. That would be really good. <laughs> Somebody make chowder and invite me over. Okay. Don't see much else. I do want to see who's making this. It's no name. It didn't seem to be Corning or anything like that. Pyrex. There is no name on the bottom. It seems to be a little bit... Um, not as good a feel in the hand as some of the other companies. All right, we're going to come back down this side of the aisle. I see a Pierce dish right up here. I'm going to try to get that one out. Where can I put this piece? Let's see what this looks like. Oh, kind of plain milk glass, reticulated. Very pretty edge, I have to say. But I don't know that that would bring a very high dollar amount. Now, I could be wrong. I don't remember ever seeing this pattern like that, but I'm gonna leave that one behind. Okay, lots of dishes, plates, cups, platters. Who's making this bowl? Oh, $4.49, and it is Ceramic Alpha, made in Italy. Oh, Crate and Barrel sold this, that's interesting. I might have to look that up. Crate and Barrel can be expensive. Now, I'm not saying everything in this store. Oh, it has a hairline crack. I am glad I saw it. Do you see it? It is right here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not. But we're going to put that back and not even run a comp. Okay, this is a punch bowl in milk glass. And a teapot. Wow, there is so much to look at here. Oh, I do love the shape of this. I am not shipping this. Whoa, that is heavy. $20. Okay, I'm so nosy. I have to see who's making this. Oh, this would be lovely with a fish. Let's see what this says on the bottom. Made in Italy. Of course you're made in Italy. This is beautiful. Okay, if I had like a booth, or a shop, I would definitely pick this up. This is stunning. The shape, again, is so gorgeous for a beautiful fish. Wow, that's pretty. Make sure that's fully on the shelf so we don't lose it. Oh, some green glass. Oh, how pretty. $4.49 has an etched rose pattern on it. That is just lovely. Okay, but I don't know much about it, so I'm going to leave that one on the shelf. Oh, this pattern is interesting. Oh, very fine in the hand. This has got to be bone china, I would think. I've heard that if you hold bone china up to the light, it is translucent, and that is one of the ways that you tell. No marking on this. Let's see if the plates, are these the plates? No, I don't think so. How about this one? Oh, yeah, that's the matching one. You can see the indentation where the uh, cup sits, $14.99. Again, unmarked. Well, how am I supposed to look things up if they don't put the brand on there? <laughs> Very pretty pattern though. Okay, we are on the bakeware aisle. It says it right here. <laughs> this looks to be a pottery piece, $7.99. I think it says Bon Appetit. I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. This is lovely. <coughs> mm, no branding. No artist's mark. I'm gonna have to leave that behind. Here I'm recognizing these are temptations. Very distinctive look. Pieces are super heavy. 
see temptations and I think there are still some of the pieces that bring good money but these are quite heavy guys so be careful of your shipping costs if you are paying for the shipping for the buyer on temptations especially heavy yep here's the rest of the family <laughs> from the other one that lost its body okay so this must be you know that's very interesting because you would think it's a creamer but how in the world would you pour I guess out the spout looks like this would cause it to spill and is this the sugar Let's take a look at this one. Huh, these are made very funny. Okay, I don't know who's making them. And is that the correct head? Yeah, must be, because it matches the tail. And I'm gonna try to turn this one over and see who's making this one. Okay, all branding should be this clear. Source of fine collectibles, Avon 1992. A little cat teapot. Moving up, we're seeing a piece of pottery up here. Huh. This is really nice. I always wonder what these pieces are made for. Like, what are you cooking in there? Is that like a bean pot? I very much like this, but I like there to be signatures, some sort of artist marking on them. Okay, here's another pottery piece. Is it marked? Oh, yes it is. Misty made this. Good job, Misty. <laughs> I don't know who Misty is, but she's a potter. It's pretty good. I wonder if she painted that. Nope, it feels like this is like a decoupage. Very pretty though. Okay, on this bottom shelf, teacups and saucers, which you guys know me, I don't pick up a lot of these. These are mid-century modern Victoria, Czechoslovakia. Look how sweet these little demitasse cups are. Oh, I really like these. So good. $1.99 each. I think I'm gonna get the yellow, red, pink, green, and black. I love the aesthetic of this, and I think other people will too. So I'm gonna put these right in my cart. I think these are bone china. So porcelain or bone china, they could be porcelain. But very, very sweet, and I love this color, this colorway. All right, these are going right in my cart. Oh, I especially like the red. So I'm going to put that in there, and we'll take the black, the green, look how fun this is, so 60s, and the pink. Do we love this? Yes, we do. All right, I'm going to have to put the camera down and seat that a little bit better, but this is what the cart is looking like. I'm going to get everything, except I still have to check on these shoes here. Okay, how spectacular are these? These are metal. I don't think they're brass. I think they're painted to look like brass, but I love these. Okay, what does that say? $19.75. Six dollars a piece for two squirrel bookends. These are going right in the cart. These are fantastic. I love these. Okay, a worker just came over and put this right in front of me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this little metal telephone. It even still has its cord. I don't know that this is especially old. Does that even have a date down there? Where's the price? There's not even a price on it. We're gonna put that in the cart. I think this is great for like miniature houses. So we're gonna stick that in the shoe down there. And also on her cart, I walked over and scored this amazing Longer Burger basket. Let's take a look at the inside. Now I'm not sure if this originally had a lining. Wood crafter. Um, a lining for an ice bucket. I'm not exactly sure, but definitely gorgeous condition, $7.49. And most all Longa Burger I have ever found is marked, signed, and dated. So this one is 2003, $7.50. This is a steal and thrilled to find it with its lid. Okay. Along with that one, I also grabbed these two bread baskets or roll baskets. $8.49, which is hysterical. And this one with a liner, $5.49. I'm gonna give these two thought. Definitely a yes for this one. This I'm a little bit on the fence about because Longa Burger is so saturated right now that I don't think it would bring much more than that. So I'm probably gonna put these two back, but I'm gonna hold on to them for a little while. 
I did scoop up a blue glass bottle. This is just the Paul Revere, $3. I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. I'm thinking this would have brought probably between 10 and 12. So this one I'm not gonna take. Okay, here is a pitcher jug. I don't know if it was supposed to have a top. I'm guessing it might have. $2.99. I believe this is Williamsburg Restoration. I love this beautiful pattern. This is gorgeous. This is going right in my cart, $2.99. And I'm thinking probably a solid 30 for this. And they are marked on the bottom when you find these. So this is going right in the cart. I'm trying to think, I grabbed a few more pieces while you weren't looking. We got this Tuscany Italian soap dish, along with, I think this is botanical garden, uh, botanic garden. And there's a whole dishes set that goes with this, $2.49. I'm being lazy and not looking this up. I don't think this is gonna bring more than eight to 10, but I'm gonna take that. And I love, 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 triple love this soap dish. And it does have the tiniest of flea bite chips right there. But look how wonderful this is. I love this little dish. So that is in the cart. I think I have showed you everything else in this cart. I'm trying to keep up. Sometimes I have to grab things if a new cart comes out. But we're gonna keep going and see what else we can find. It is a really good day. So I turned around from putting something in the cart. $6.99, do we recognize this jug? Just beautiful. I believe this is Eldrith Pottery. I love Eldrith Pottery. Let's check the signature on the bottom, yay. Oh, stunningly beautiful. I love Eldrith pottery. I love the older pottery. This is just so, so wonderful. I don't know what this is gonna bring. I will try to leave comps on the screen when I find uh, comps. I'll do a screenshot for you guys, $6.99. I don't see any damage. Yes, 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 in the cart it goes. How's it going, sweetie? <laughs> Games and clothes. The big boggle. That's not that great, but for two fifty. Okay. It sells quick. Muppets. I think Monopoly Muppets is made Monopoly. for every single TV show, movie. Yeah. Big boggle. Lots of clothing. Yeah. Memory. Is that for us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, uh, oh, menu. this is nice. Polo with its oh, tags. What are we paying for this? Ten ninety nine. No, that's so good. For brand new. Yeah. Wow. Lots of polos. Yeah. Got some nice. Looks good. Under Armour. You got a lot of Foot Joy. Four forty nine. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. really good. Three forty nine. We like this store, right? <laughs> yeah. Some of the prices are a little high though. But are they? Some are good. Okay. I think same thing. Whoever's pricing them. I think I'm beating you though. Different, <laughs> different people pricing them. Yeah, isn't that always the case? It's not yeah. even Goodwill. Yeah. Because you find one Nike back there, it's $9.49. And okay. the next one's $4.99 or $4.49. So almost the exact same shirt. Crazy. Okay, guys, this is the mystery for the day. Look how beautiful this is. It is a chips and dip plate. And then turn it over, cake platter. I absolutely love, love, love this pattern. It is unmarked as far as I can tell. $6.99. But for it being this heavy, I want a name on it. Does anybody recognize this pattern? I think I'm gonna wind up putting it back, but I wanna learn, you know, if this is really obvious. I couldn't find it. I did try comping. I just put in cake platter, ceramic cake platter. So we will see if I've made a huge mistake, but look how pretty this is. Isn't this great? But I think it's going back on the shelf. All right, let's keep going. I did find these vintage goes to blow molds a little late in the season this guy is missing his cat and this guy here has the cat <laughs> holding a cat head look at that face such a good face but he doesn't have his light i'm gonna have to decipher what all that printing says on the bottom because it's quite dirty three dollars put him right in my cart okay so roger and i did try to research this with google image search all I came up with is Polish pottery, and that was it. I don't know what brand it is or anything, but look how beautiful it is. For $7, I'm gonna put my big girl pants on and be willing to ship it. We're definitely getting it. It's too pretty to put back. Okay, hooked on phonics, get ready to read. This is the three to five age, and it is, I think, pre-K. This is considered, I don't know if I'm looking right at this, 
They want $19.99. Now you can see underneath it has the Ollie sticker. So I'm definitely going to have to comp these. But these used to bring really good money. And I think this one is unopened. So that is great. Yep, pre-K. Probably looking right at it. What do you think, sweetie? Have you ever sold these? No, I didn't. The Ollie sticker is a little scary. Yeah, right? What do you think? Is that the same thing? Probably not, right? Okay, guys, so this is what I'm seeing when I run comps. This top one, pre-K second grade, 3 to 8, 174. This is 3 to 5. But a lot of these can do well, so I think I'm going to hold on to this and maybe try to flip it local for, like, probably 50 to 60. That's my thought anyway. But Raj is right, the Ollie sticker, a little concerning. But we'll see. I will report back on Instagram on what this brings, if this is still a good seller. Okay, guys, so this is what the end result looks like. We're going to go to lunch. I did score a Pottery Barn beautiful Aztec embroidered print quilt for the bed. That's Pottery Barn Teen and mostly everything else I showed you. think so. Okay. Good day all around. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. Okay, so in this part of the video, I just want to go over some of the shoes and boots that I'm picking up. Now, generally, I try to buy in between $7 and $10. Sometimes I do go a little bit over that benchmark in case I want to pick something up that I feel is a really good um, chance, that there is a really good chance that I'll make a good profit. Some of the brands are new to me, but a lot of the brands are brands that I have come to really recognize very quickly and I'd love to sell. Some of these brands can be a little bit obscure. Other resellers aren't really gravitating towards them. With having said that, a few of these pairs of shoes or boots are going to have quite a bit of wear. And you'd be like, Karen, why did you pick those up? Even with that amount of wear, I know that they're going to bring great profit for what I've invested. All right, so we're just going to take a look at a couple of pairs of boots and shoes, and I'm just going to share my thoughts with you. So this first pair is a pair of Nakona boots. As you can see, they are brown leather with a flame stitch. See this stitch right here? When it has a lot of points like that, that is called a flame stitch. Always leather insides. And I do make sure that the inside is not peeling. Sometimes when a wearer, the person that owns the boots, is putting the boots on and off a lot, they can rip the inside of the boot. Once that happens, I don't pick up the boots. And if you take a look at the bottom of the boots, Nakona always has a leather sole. This is one of the first telltale signs to me of a shoe that is worth looking at is that it has a leather sole. Now, I'm going to share other shoes that don't have a leather sole. doesn't mean they're not worth it, but if it does have a leather sole, it's usually a sign of a good quality shoe or boot. So these are Nakona. As you can see, quite a bit of toe creasing across the front here. But all in all, they're still in fairly good condition. And what did I pay for these? $7.99. I felt that was really good, even though these have, I'm going to say, 50% life left in them. I'm pretty sure I'll probably be able to get between $40 and $60 for them. This next pair of black leather boots, women's boots, I can identify these from across the store. See this heel here? It is a wedge or a platform heel. I'm going to call it a wedge heel. And it has grooves. I'm hoping the camera lighting is good. See that there? When I see this heel, whether it's on a shoe or a boot, I know this is Fly London. Fly London is one of my favorite brands to find. So I'm going to show you the bottom. It goes this way. I think you can see the brand imprinted on the shoe. I'm pretty sure all Fly London have the name on the bottom of the boot. And to me, this is not a name that a lot of people are recognizing. Again, ton of resellers in the store that day. Everybody passed them by. Okay, I'll take them. Lace up on the back and just a really nice boot. Now again, these have a little bit of wear on the toe. You can see the leather is peeling a little bit. My opinion is still worth picking up. Now the um, thrift store had marked these boots $19.99. This was not a Goodwill, this was another store. And I thought, wow, $19.99. I was still considering paying that price for Fly London's because they can bring very good money. 
but I just brought them to the manager. I didn't bring it up. I said, I do like these boots very much, and I do want to buy them, but I feel like $19.99 is kind of high for boots that are peeling on the toe. So see, I'm not trying to insult them. I try to just give them my point of view. Now, if she would have said they were $19.99, I probably would have passed them by because you know me, the girl is all about not paying a lot of money for what I purchase. But she said, well, let me take them in the back and, and see what I can do. This was the main manager. I'm thinking, don't you get to price them? You know, don't you get to say what they, but no, a lot of times the stores are giving the authority to the people pricing the item. But here she came back out with them. She said, here you go, house $7.99. I was thrilled, tried to act casual, like, oh, okay, great. Thank you so much for working with me. So a lot of times Goodwill will not work with you anymore, but the independent thrift stores or the other chains I'm finding are a lot more um, conducive, a lot more willing to, um, to hear the buyer out. But here they are, Fly London, with those wedge grooved soles and the marking on the bottom. Okay, another brand and style I always pick up are Bass Weegins. I've been picking these up all 10 years of my reselling, I don't think I've ever not been able to sell a pair. Now, I don't pick up all Bass loafers, but the Weegins are a good seller. W-E-E-J-U-N-S, and this is the Kilty loafer. So you can see the Kilty little fringed piece here with the tassels. This is what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure, not positive, the Weegins always have a leather sole, which if you find the Bass loafers, a lot of those have the, um, what is it called, rubber sole, or just the black synthetic sole. But I'm pretty sure the Weegins always have the leather, um, the leather sole. So I love picking them up. So this is the Kilty style, like I said. Here's the same uh, loafer, Bass Weegins, and these are the Penny loafer. You can see they have a slot for the Penny. Now, when I got up to the register, the penny lovers were $7.47, and the kilty ones were $9.47, and I have two more pairs in the back, they were $11.47. Again, I got up to the register, not a goodwill again, and I said, can I get one set price for all of them? And she said, yeah, sure. So she gave them all to me for the $7.47, which is great, four pairs. Generally, I think I'll get between $35 and $40, depending on the condition. Okay, L.L. Bean, I love L.L. Bean. Even the modern store, I still like. Quality is not as good as it used to be, but if you find older products produced by L.L. Bean, I almost always pick them up, especially the Ranger shoes. I call these Ranger, Desert, Chaka, all those words. And I believe these are men's shoes. I think this is a 7D. So is that a man's 7? Is there 7 in men's? See, I don't even know that. I'm going to have to look that up. This could be a woman's shoe. Probably I will try them on. I'm a size 8, so I put a sock on, put them on. If they are too tight on me, I know it's a woman's. If it's a 7 and it's a man's, they're going to fit me because generally there's about one size, one and a half, between the women's and the men's. Beautiful condition. This is what they look like. And $8.99. In my title, I will also say camping, outdoors, hiking, all the key words for outdoor living because L.L. Bean, in my opinion, generally is an outdoor brand, people that are outdoor enthusiasts. So I always try to include the keywords that the company would use to promote their items and uh, really nice condition. Okay, this pair of boots, you're going to be like, why in the world did you pick those up? And I still wouldn't have done it again. These are fry boots. And you can see that the girl that wore these really got into kicking somebody or something. I'm gonna say something. She had a very hard kick to her toe. This is actually indented a little bit. But I felt like the quality and the construction of the boot is still beautiful. I will clean all of these shoes with the Dr. Martin's Balsam, the Wonder Balsam. I love that product still. One of my favorites. And what did I pay for these boots? I paid, up oh, there it is, $6.49, yes. So will they bring as much as if they didn't have the damage? They won't, but I feel like Fry Boot is such a well-loved boot that I should still be able to get, I'm gonna say $35, something like that. I will report back on Instagram what these look like, if I remember, when they're cleaned up and what price they bring. So Fry, F-R-Y-E, I think that's why nobody else was taking these besides that they're a little bit damaged, but right here, 
That's usually where Fry is branded, right on the side of the heel. Last up is this pair of riding boots. I think these are from Motocross, and this is Thoroughgood. I did try to comp these because I've never heard of Thoroughgood before, and I couldn't find riding boots, and I paid, are you ready for this, $16.49 for these boots. I must have been crazy. I never paid that much for shoes, very rare. In my 10 years, I can't even count on one hand how many times I have not paid up for them. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. Black leather ankle guard motocross men's boots. Beautiful condition, all leather, really nice construction. And even without being able to find comps, just on the quality alone and what Thoroughgood can bring in other style boots, I felt positive that $16.50, that was fine to spend that kind of money. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here. I just wanted to give you a little peek and encourage you that if you are a new reseller or you are thinking of getting into reselling, I love this profession, absolutely love it. If you just stay consistent, there's so much money to be made. Whether it is picking up hard goods or clothing or shoes or handbags, whatever your niche is, or like me, you just spread yourself across all the niches and try to learn as much as you can. Now you guys know, as you watch my videos, I really don't know a lot about anything, but I learn as I go along and I learn enough to be able to be buying in that niche. And that way, if I get to a store and I can't find hard goods, I can jump into shoes. If shoes are kind of eh, I can jump into clothing. And that is just such a wonderful thing that I am glad I embraced from the very beginning, is not having one niche to sell in, but rather being open-minded to picking up anything that can flip for a profit. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.